Hello there, I'm going to give you an introduction into Komodo IDE's publishing tools. So publishing is a new feature that's been added into Komodo IDE 6. You'll find it under the tools publishing menu where you can create a new configuration. Now publishing is used to synchronize local files, the local file system with files on a remote server. So we'll start off here, enter a name, choose a local local path on the local file system select your server and choose a remote path and then save your configuration at this stage Komodo will go and check the remote server and compare it to what's on the local file system to see if there are any changes and in this case it's picked up that I have new files on my remote server that it is going to synchronize locally so you can see here in the left column there's a, a plus sign which indicates a new file that has been added. And you can see a file icon that has a little link on it which means it's a remote file. So remote file added. Komodo hasn't done anything at this stage but it's waiting for you to press the synchronize button. And when you do that it'll do the synchronize action that's listed in the right column. So synchronizing will copy those files between local and remote file systems. And you can see here, now I have the files stored locally. And you can actually see the icons, the little P for publishing. Now, when I edit the file locally, you can see that the publishing icon has changed to indicate that it has been edited. Now, if I also do some changes to the remote server, so I'll change file 2 on the remote server. And I'll also change module.py. I'll also change module.py locally as well, so we'll have local changes and remote changes and both local and remote changes okay so when I next run the synchronize it'll show me that I edited file 2 remotely I edited file 1 locally and I have a conflict with module which was edited in both locations with a, a conflict, you have the option to choose which file that you'd like to win. So you could either upload the local file, which overwrites the remote, or download the remote file locally. Now, the, you might not be too sure about what changes have been made, so this is why the, the diff changes button will show you what's actually incoming and outgoing. So we can see here for file one, I have changed a added a local edit. For file two, there was an added remote file change. And for module, which was changed in both places, I can see the the change made from the remote server and the change made from the local server. Local machine. So I'm going to let the local file win and it'll be upload to the remote server. Synchronize. Okay, so we're now back to publishing in sync, running the synchronization again will show me that there are no changes. And that's how you use publishing. Thanks.